CSV injection, what's the risk? An overview of CSV injection, commonly re referred to as formula injection, occurs when websites embed untrusted input inside CSV files. A lot of times these formulas are caused because of certain characters are allowed within the outputting of CSV files. These characters are equals, uh, the plus sign, a dash, or the at symbol. A lot of times when applications open CSV files containing formulas, upon opening, the formula does get executed. So an attacker at times could utilize this to execute malicious code or even launch various applications. As an example, here is an online payment processor in which uh, we already have a transaction that has been made here, but just for kind of demo purposes, we have the option here in the upper right hand corner to edit the customer's details. In this specific slide, we're able to insert a malicious formula into the first name field of this customer. So in this example, uh, the equal sign CMD with a pipe is basically stating we're, we're going to be executing a command here. Uh, and this command specifically is going to execute the calc.exe application. Um, so really that's in Windows essence, that's a, a calculator app application. Um, essentially, we were able to successfully save the malicious formula as the customer's first name here. Within this application, it does allow for a user to export the transactions um, to a CSV file. So obviously, if we were able to uh, successfully save the customer's first name with that malicious formula, and we export these transactions, if the customer's first name does get exported into the CSV, we potentially could have an opportunity here where once the CSV file is opened in, like Microsoft Excel, uh, this formula could get executed, allowing us to um, execute applications on the Windows host. So here we did open the CSV file in Excel. Excel does do, um, it does prompt the user to, you know, state that, hey, there is some uh, formulas within this file that it did not know what it might do, but it does prompt the user to say, hey, they're, they're potentially could be something malicious here. Um, and it basically says that, you know, it only click yes to execute if you know exactly what is going on within this CSV file. So, you know, Microsoft Excel here is trying to help the end user prevent from uh, malicious code from actually being executed. Now, however, if we go ahead for demo purposes, if we click yes, we can see here in this next slide, we did get calculator uh, to actually execute and run due to the formula that was exported um, from the online payment processors application. You know, there are some ways that uh, end users or, or companies can actually mitigate this issue. You know, you need to determine, does your application produce, import or export any sort of CSV files? And essentially looking at the content that is going to be exported into those CSV files, um, and, you know, if so, you know, there, there are some ways that uh, you can implement um, some various things to prevent any sort of CSV injection or formula injection from happening. You know, whitelisting various input um, validation, restricting the, the malicious characters, kind of what we went over in the first slide, but the plus sign, a dash, equal, or at sign really is going to help reduce any sort of risk uh, involving the formula injection. However, there are some also um, some other methods that can be done as well, encoding file output. So prepending the cells with a specific character, adding a space, single tick to the beginning of the cell, as well as removing any sort of tab characters within that cell. Now, final thoughts here, you know, if, if you're looking for um, any sort of security testing, you know, White Oak Security is your partner for deep technical testing and effective remediation guidance. We offer structured, repeatable, industry-driven testing processes. You know, White Oak can provide comprehensive suite of services for application and infrastructure security testing. 
we are focused on deep technical testing and effective remediation guidance. You know, using our deep experience in both technical testing and executive management and communication to help our com clients address any sort of security risks that have been identified. Thank you for coming to my talk.